What's up y'all, it's your boy Chris here, your one and only data buddy. And in today's quick video, I wanted to go over two things, right? So a lot of you all have asked me, what is good, the Network Plus or the CCNA? Uh, in my personal opinion, I believe that they're both really good, but it all depends on where you're at in your career. Uh, for example, this was the Network Plus book that I went through back when I was a, I guess you could call it desktop support, help desk slash IT director, pretty much the whole shebang uh, when I was in a private private school in the south side of Chicago. It was a private high school and it was, a, it was my very first IT position. This book I went through and I also went through YouTube videos through the network plus content on there um there's several channels out there you can go and visit and, and watch very a lot of free content content but that really helped me uh, but yes i started off in my career getting the a plus the network plus and then a security plus prior to me right before getting it going to the knock so i would have to say uh it all depends on your career I would have gotten a knock position if I didn't have past experience plus the network plus under my belt. That was just my situation. Now, however, let's say um, you you're already have like a network role, right? You're already networking. You didn't even have the network plus yet. Or, you know, you are doing a lot of networking uh, configurations in a, in a position, but you don't have the network plus credentials at all. That's when I'll say, you know what? Get your CCNA. Um, the very first part of this book, actually the thicker one, volume one, volume one, one it was actually thicker. Uh, the very first part of this book was basically all of the network plus content in it. Then it started to go deeper into like the Cisco stuff. So if you're, if you want to know deeper networking, uh, and you're going to be working with a lot of Cisco stuff. Let's say in your area, right? You do job searches and there's a lot of Cisco engineer, uh, network engineer roles, and they use a lot of Cisco equipment. This, this would definitely be the route to go. Now, uh, which one will take far further down your career? In my opinion, the CCNA will, and, um, just a good example, a lot of content in the CCNA actually transfers greatly over to other network roles. Um, for example, Fortinet, you know, a lot of stuff that was in the Fortinet content, the things they were discussing, you know, I learned a lot through the CCNA content. Uh, I would have to say Cisco is very great at their education and that's what I like most. Uh, I was an, a teacher myself and I taught IT too as well. And I would have to say like education is very important and Cisco really, really has that with all of their stuff. Um, you know, the thick, you know, the book is thick, but it goes deeper to subnet and it goes through the whole thing. It goes to routers and switches, um, you know, different ports and, you know, what, how to configure all that stuff. But I will also would like to let you all know about supplementing that. The, the book that really helped me out with the CCNA is also getting the one-on-one labs Cisco CCNA book by Paul Browning. This book right here. I would have to say really helps out because not only does it give you just labs, 101 labs, but it shows you, it tells you what to do. It gives you a diagram. It tells you the directions of how to do it and what you need to do without telling you how to do it. But then afterwards, it tells you how to do it. And it shows you the actual configuration of each lab, which is great. It really does help you learn. So if you wanted to know quality of service, you have a choice, right? You can look at how to configure it from, you know, the CCNA or the CCNP book, or you could go to this book where you actually have a lab on quality of service. And this would be like QoS, I don't know, on switches and whatnot. Or like configuring static routing via IP addresses, right? Want to learn how to configure static routes on a router. This book will help you out. But again, the CCNA also talks about that. And the difference between that and the network plus is the network plus doesn't really teach you that it teaches you the 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 um the broader uh aspects of networking you know what a router is what a switch is you know the the terms of it 
all of that stuff how you know the cabling you know what's our what's an rj45 right what is a 568b and 568a standards you know the, you know all the different cables things like that but if you want to go know more about networking i highly recommend the ccna now which one uh which one made bigger progress and you know opened more doors in my career it will be the ccna uh in my opinion the ccna has helped me a transfer a lot of knowledge over to different um, vendors such as palo alto and fortinet but also everyone in chicago you know is either looking for a lot of fortinet people or cisco ccna now a lot of you know huge jobs like a lot of jobs out there in the city you know they a lot of they're they're asking for a lot of cisco ccna so that's that's what i see i don't see the network plus like that um i see more cisco ccna so that's that's uh my uh that's just a quick video so to sum it all up which one has better career advancements it all depends i'm going to be honest where you are in your career if you have zero knowledge about networking i will say the network plus will be easier for you to swallow um it's great it's a great starting point uh watch a lot of free content on there there's a lot of free content on the network plus grab the network plus and then grab the ccna you know if you want to go deeper into networking uh that's 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 just me um but if you want to go like the cyber security route you know you can just get grab the network plus and then go to the security plus and then branch off from whatever other security certification vendor you want i was going more deeper in networking i see i saw the, the the job market out there cisco is still top number one but i also see fortinet and palo alto in the mix too as well so why why not learn those as well there's you know, their firewalls and they run off the backbone the knowledge of cisco uh with their own spin and you know their own terms and all of that but cisco because of the education they have i believe that's why you know many colleges right have cisco programs my community college has a cisco program uh, my, you know, the Cisco CCNA program, the WGU has a Cisco program. The education is widely out there. So I believe uh, if other vendors really start pushing more education out, I believe that will, you will start to see that more in schools too as well. But why, why, are, why are schools choosing Cisco over the other ones? Because they have that broader knowledge, you know, that's, that can be carried over to other vendors. So that's my, uh, that's my input on it. I hope you all have a great day. Keep labbing and uh, yeah, keep applying to jobs for those who are being laid off or whatnot. Keep keep you know I'm happy with my prayers. Just keep just keep going, keep labbing. Uh, just just don't stop. Just stay consistent. You know, figure out plan plan things out. Figure out what is going on, what's popping in your area, and based on what is going on in your area, what jobs are looking for. Use that to draft your route your IT route. So hope you all have a good day and I will talk to you all soon. Later.